never, ever wash the sun mask ever again. I don't, you know, I, I, I think Jamie is an sun okay. Mask the He's mask okay. franchise has to be rebooted very badly. I love Jim Carrey's portrayal of the mask, but that's not the, how the mask was in the source material. And they really need to ki- they really need, need to touch up on them what the mask really is. I won't <laughs> forget. You can forget the uh, the moment in the mask where uh, near the end, Icarus. Uh, no, not Icarus. Um, Stanley Ipkiss. He's in his car. He's about to go to the nightclub. He turns to his dog and goes, "Daddy's gonna go kick some ass." Oh, okay. That's. Okay, well, the, well, but, well, okay, well the cops said well the cops said exactly what I said at the same time when he said it. He's a dead man. <laughs> I, I will say this though when I was watching Dark Knight Rises, I could have sworn I saw Michael Bay in the corner taking notes. What? I could have sworn I saw Michael Bay in the corner taking notes for the Dark Knight Rise when he was watching Dark Knight Rises. Of course that's what he should be doing when he watches someone like Nolan or Josh Whedon. Well, what, you I'll tell you. What, you live in Hollywood? Uh, right next to it, actually. I live in, uh, oh. in Thousand Oaks. That's right next to L.A. Really? I'll tell you yeah. this. Um, <clears throat> I will say this. <clears throat> oh, shoot, I forgot his... Um, I'm drinking, a, I'm drinking Sam... a beer here. Yeah. <sighs> are you talking... Wait, are you talking about... Um, Sam... Uh, Sam Raimi? Sam, yeah, Sam Raimi. When the whole, um, I can totally picture Sam Raimi sitting in the, uh, in the uh, viewing of The Amazing Spider-Man and taking notes and like, yep, I should have done this, I should have done that, I should not even tried that in the third uh, film. Nah, I know Sam Raimi to a T because I'm a hardcore Sam Raimi fan, but I know when to put the, put the foot down when it comes to his friggin', his friggin Spider-Man movies, alright? Um... But uh, Sam Raimi's uh, um, Sam Raimi just knows when I don't know. He, he Sam Raimi just knows when he um, he's been outmatched. I and 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 that's and and I and, and that was hard for me to even say because I I, I love Sam Raimi. But yeah, you know, there's just there's just times when someone does something better. Mm. Uh, I still haven't said Evil seen Evil Dead. Never. You've never seen, seen Evil Dead. No, not even. Well, I've seen Army of Darkness. That's the only evil film I've seen. It's, I love Army of Darkness. It's fucking oh, awesome. Yeah, that's for more... B movie standard, for B, for B movie standards, Evil Dead, Evil Dead Two, and Army of Darkness, they're very good movies. They're, they're, in fact, they're, in fact, they're, they're pop culture phenomenons. Is the greatest B movies ever, and they're and they and they have a cult following that's still very strong. I love Evil Dead. That's one of the reasons. <laughs> I, one of the reasons. Yeah. Bruce Campbell. Oh yeah, the wise he, director. Yeah, I, I love that line you used in that response to the whatever his name was that was he played that uh Jim Carrey what, clip mo- to you. What what movie motherfucker? Yeah yeah, that guy and you said you, yeah the Jack and shit and Jack left town. That line you pulled Well it's well well, hey, he was dressed. He was using Jim Carrey as dressing up as Mister Fancy Pants. So I thought I'd play that thing. <laughs> yeah, you totally owned him in that one. That, uh, that was hilarious. I'm still waiting for Raimi to do another Evil they're, Dead film. They're uh, they're ocean motherfuckers. They're ocean fanboys. They're easy to own. They're easy to own. <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting uh, for uh, Sam Raimi to do another Evil Dead. I, I really want to see a fourth one. I don't care. It's probably, uh, it's probably, it's probably not, never, not gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen. They're remaking it. I don't want a fucking remake. I, I, I don't want them to replace Bruce Campbell. I don't, ca- I don't want to. Be, I, I mean, I mean, cool. You want to put make a female role, but don't say she, she is now Ash. I mean, come the fuck on. You, 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 you mean you're telling me they're going to make Ash a woman now? Like, re- change it, not be a male character, have it be a female character? Well, a- well, a- well, Ash is, well, Ash's full name is Ashley, so yes, it can be done. Uh, uh, I'm not, if it's freaking, if it's freaking, if there's a female playing Ash, I'm going to be pissed. In fact, Bruce well, Campbell's I mean, what the... Most pe- what, mo- what most people don't know is that Ashley can, can be given to both a guy and a a guy and a girl, so it's uh, 
it's not it's not impossible for Sam Raimi uh, Sam Raimi to do that. In fact, in the audio commentary to Evil Dead Two, um, Bruce Campbell's like, well, why don't you have ha- the female lady um, fight the evil demon? And Sam Raimi, Sam Raimi was like, hey, that could be a, that could be good for Evil Dead Four, I think. Well, wasn't I, I heard that Evil Dead Two was supposed to be like some kind of a remake or a tea or a little tea set up. Maybe Evil Dead, I don't know. Evil, Evil, Evil Dead 2 is a sequel and a remake. Yeah. Ah. Starts off as a remake, then becomes a sequel. And it's a freaking awesome sequel. So, in other words, Evil Dead 1 never really happened? Well, no, I'm not. No, it, I'm... Now it, now it happened. It, it it happens the same way, but differently. In the, in the first one, there was more people that got slaughtered. In the second one, uh, there's not as much, but it, she gets slaughtered the very same way. The book gets burnt. Um, well, it's implied that it's burnt, and um, the, and it shows what happens right after the end of the first movie. Yeah, it's um. Well, the from there. The Evil Dead films are like this. The first one is a horror, really violent horror film. The second one is a horror film slash comedy. The third one is a action comedy. action comedy with a little horror added in there. That's pretty much what they are now. Uh, and, well, the horror, well, if there's horror in, in it, it didn't really scare me that well. No, it was probably the scene when he's like, he goes into the cabin and the door starts shaking from the thing chasing him. That was the only real horror scene, but then after that, he breaks a mirror, a bunch of little evil ashes come in. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to Army of Darkness, my all-time favorite line is, uh, this is my... No, wait, wait, wait. Start over. All right, you printed the screw heads. Listen up. This is my poop stick. And then he goes off <laughs> describing it. You can buy it at S. S. You know, shop smart. Shop S smart. Yeah. Ooh. My favorite line it's was. It's a Remington. S smart's top of the line. You can buy this in a sporting goods department. Yep, this this cute baby here was made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Details for about nine ninety-five. It's got a cold, it's got a cold black stock, gold ball blue steel, and a hair trigger. That's right. Stop. Shop smart. Shop S smart. You got that, motherfuckers? Uh, my oh, favorite. My favorite line. It's on Blu-ray. What? Oh, please tell me that Armory, Armory of Darkness is on Blu-ray. Yeah, I told you that a while That's back. Cool. That's on yeah, Blu-ray, yes. and it looks great too on Blu-ray. It really Not does. Yourself. Go to sell. Buy Army of Darkness on Blu-ray. I demand myself to. Buy all three Evil Dead films, man. Tomorrow, dude, you'll love them. They're great films to watch. That's my favorite movie franchise. Okay. I mean, just is. And my favorite line in Army of Darkness was, yo, she bits. She bitch. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's like the ending. You know, uh, I'll swallow your soul. Come get them. Is that, is that, is that what it is? Is that what it is? That... The um I saw I saw you saw I saw you so that's in the um well that's in the ending but that's also in the second one where after he uh, takes tea after he chainsaws the uh, fucking bitch the thing goes I saw you saw I saw you saw swallow this oh <laughs> oh yeah I recall hearing hearing that audio file on the internet yeah you know just re- you know just place that re- you know just replace that scene with Unreal's headshot and that will do good. Oh man, I totally pictured this. Um, you, you you know how you did the uh, um, with Doug with the Duke Nukem voice? I could totally picture you pulling that. Um, that. that really was that really was the actor. Yes, yeah, I heard it. Him. Yeah, I, I heard that that, that really happened. <laughs> although, you... uh, although rumor has it. Although rumor has it, Doug doesn't believe it's real. He says that's just me using a fucking sound effect. And I was like, no, it's not. If you want me to actually show the footage of him saying it on camera, um, I can do that. Oh, please do. Oh, and um, also on a quick note with Stormstick, please tell me you still have that uh, video you did where, in regards to Are You Happy Now, where... Stormstick says, you know, I give my opinion, and I don't give a shit about the feedback I get. Three days later, and 
Seven hundred. I don't. I don't know if I have that. Cause that, that I laughed my ass off with that with the the uh, African American uh, actors laughing their ass off. Dude, I have no idea what movie that's from. 